Hey everybody, welcome back to the Jeep Journals. My name is Ray and I am in Big Bend National Park. And I just got to enjoy a beautiful sunset. Took a few pictures, but mostly I just watched it. Um, I talked with some people that I was needing to contact. And um, basically I'm taking care of business as much as I can um, while being disconnected from everything and thinking, when I started coming here in 1993, this place was teeming with wildlife. Now, I recognize that some people are gonna say we're in the wrong season for this, that, and the other, but just listen as I show you this beautiful landscape. Just listen, listen. Today I hiked the South Rim, which I really don't know how many miles it is. Um, whatever they list it as, it doesn't feel like that. <laughs> it feels a lot more challenging uh, to me anyway. And um, But that was a good thing. I needed that. So I got to get some exercise, like some challenging exercise in while running a scenario. What if some situation happened, some catastrophe, maybe a, an ailing family member or something like that. Something just suddenly happens. How quickly can we get to where it is that we need to go to? And that's how I posed it. And then I said, well, maybe just try it as a fun experiment and instead theorize if a friend asked you to go to a place like this, would you just go right then? And um, even though it seemed challenging. For an example, last night at 10.30, I left San Antonio. At 5.55, I arrived where I was gonna park for a few moments uh, before hiking the South Rim Trail. So I slept maybe for an hour and a half. Again, at 10.30 p.m. last night, I left San Antonio and then I got here at 5.55 in the morning. And I saw a few things along the way. I saw owls. Uh, most of the animals that I saw were outside of the national park. It's increasingly common to see animals of a more diverse variety outside of the park areas that I visit for some reason. I'm either living in an alternate reality where everything is just stunningly quiet and you don't have any owls coyotes, foxes, insects chirping. It's quiet. Listen. There are many seasons that I've camped in the back country, no longer hearing foxes and coyotes. In fact, the last time I heard a fox, it was a mournful call, like it was calling out for its mate, which was no longer there. I know that these scenarios are difficult to comprehend if we're not actually out there in it. And it's even further difficult to comprehend when someone else is trying to relay to you, this is what I'm seeing. I remember on warm days, because there were insects, you would absolutely almost always see some kind of reptile. I saw one lizard today. When I previously was at Big Bend National Park hiking the South Rim, that was about the same thing we saw, one lizard. Don't get me wrong, we saw the blue jays, we saw a lot of the intelligent animals that can go out of their way, not even just intelligent, but the more mobile animals that can kind of go out of their way to make a living. Look, did you see that? That was awesome.
Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody can remember. If only we take a time to calm down and stop getting mad at each other for whatever reason we're getting mad at people for. Did you see that? It's like we're bringing things back to life by talking about it. We can remember when we saw hawks circling overhead, especially when the wintry months approached, when there were more road casualties. When's the last time you saw a, a roadkill in, in, in this national park? And can you remember how diverse it was and how many road kills you would see in the past. It sounds crass, but it's true. We have to start to recognize truth can be challenging to accept. But listen, seriously listen to this. I can already hear that car approaching That's how far away we can hear sounds from. And at a certain point in time in the past, we were able to see and hear coyotes, foxes, hawks, eagles, falcons. To me, I apologize, it's going to get noisy here. To me, in my reality, I believe that we can take a time out to begin to associate these lacks of sounds with there being an anomaly, I think. I think there's an anomaly. Some people also believe there are anomalies. In my video clips, everything I say is that there is something wrong. We need to be raising an alarm. And the only thing I can think to do is to go out of my way on the warmest day this week when I should be able to find insects all over the place. Reptiles everywhere. Arachnids. And some people will say, well, it's the wrong season. But the people who were there with me who went with me, they know what they saw. We all know what we saw. So anyway, I have video going back to 1993 from this amazing national park. And I look forward to trying to figure out how to restore that into some type of format that I can upload here. Uh, the quickest I can think of is to center this phone and just record the screen as it as whatever is being played is played and um, don't be hesitant listen for the cricket listen for anything
last night on the way in, I did see some casualties and there were a few extra jackrabbits um, that I saw living. Um, a few more than I'd seen before. So I know that there's going to be a rebound. Some of these things are going to persist. But I hit only one bug on this semi-warm, not yet intrusive to all insects temperature. Uh, in other words, it wasn't too low for all insects to be coming out. I saw one bat, which was interesting because it was kind of close to where I had seen the insect. Um, so it's like the one bat was out looking for its source of food. And all day long, all I can think of as I'm standing here and people are just driving in and out with the things that, that are necessary to make a journey. And I accept responsibility for also participating in having taken too much to the journey, more than our fair share. I'm also grateful to have had the opportunity to show what's being captured here. And I hope, I hope that's, that's basically, that's basically what I think this message is about on this channel. I hope, I hope we can do better Last night at 10.30, I left San Antonio. Sometime before I got up into the basin, I saw this, I've never seen a shooting star like this. It was like a copper golden, just like, imagine like just a glowing BB just jetting through the air. I thought it was an airplane at first. But it was some type of shooting star and it had this amazing golden color. that's just how my day started. Like I saw elk on the way in. I mean, that's just how my day started. I saw a ringtail. And then at about 7.30, frigid as could be, I walked South Rim. I went up Pinnacles and came down the Laguna Meadows side. And there, there were insects here and there. There were definitely signs of life. If you are at all compassionate and understand what I'm talking about when I say there were coyotes howling frequently in the past, there were bear droppings on the trails. I know, could be, the bears could be resting for the season. There wasn't a lot of food. They were already eating bear, bears were eating bear scat in Big Bend. It was observed to get their nutrients. So this is a very serious topic. And a lot of people are gonna play it in their minds in some format or another. Hopefully it's in high definition so that it can be processed. So we're, we're lucky. We got to see a couple of insects on this clip. And if you don't understand my urgency my concern is that this is going to jeopardize a lot of people. Me, I wasn't really worth much to the equation to begin with. You know, if you followed this backstory and realize that I'm trying to do good things, have fun, 
showcasing what it is we can do to work together, how we can stop overlooking what's polluting the system and start helping one another. That's basically, I think I heard a bird chirp. might even have imagined it because things are so quiet here. Not long ago at 3.30 in the afternoon on a 90 plus degree day, I saw bats hunting dragonflies, attempting to hunt dragonflies. Unusual. Anyway, I sold all my camera gear because it was hard to share any kind of content unless it was just a hundred percent capture this animal looking sexy photo contest that's easy wildlife is sexy all it has to do is cross through any natural backdrop it's only the man-made stuff that tarnishes it up imagine seeing a, a puma or a bobcat here or a ringtail, those used to almost be predictably easy to find. But it's been a tough time, not just for the humans, not just for the humans, for our pets and all of our loved ones, including not pets, the truly wild. Anyway, rambled on enough clearly nothing swooped in or hooted in the backdrop somewhere or howled or any of that but uh, I got a good hike in to share a lot of information as it happened as I saw it and I hope you guys see it too and I hope we see each other in time and uh I hope that we recognize we don't have a whole lot of differences. We just might have different approaches. And uh, some people think that we should prioritize nature. Nature is nurture. Till next time, peace, love, and all that old school stuff.